Part 5. Use of the optional large jaw set to machine truck hubless drums and rotors. The optional large jaw set will allow you to machine hubless drums and rotors with centering holes up to 5 and 3 quarter inches. This provides coverage for virtually all hubless truck drums and rotors. The process of changing the jaws is simple and straightforward. Remove the standard size jaws by inserting the key into one of the key slots located in the side of the chuck. Turn the key counterclockwise until all three jaws stop moving. Remove the jaws from the chuck by pulling straight out on them. Rocking the jaws as you pull them may aid in the removal. Note each jaw is numbered 1, 2, and 3. The numbering assures proper alignment of the jaws in the chuck. To install the large jaws, turn the key counterclockwise until the start of the scroll is lined up with slot number 1. Once lined up with the slot number 1 opening, turn the key approximately a half a turn counterclockwise. This moves the start of the scroll to the left of the slot number 1 opening. Insert the large jaw number 1 into slot number 1 until it bottoms against the scroll gear. While applying slight pressure, turn the key clockwise. The jaw will begin to move in on the scroll threads. Continue turning the key clockwise until the start of the scroll is in the middle of slot number 2 of the quick chuck body. Turn the key approximately one half turn counterclockwise to position the start of the scroll to the left of slot number 2 opening. Insert the large jaw number 2 into slot number 2 until it bottoms against the scroll gear. While applying slight pressure, turn the key clockwise. The jaw will begin to move in on the scroll threads. Repeat this process with the last jaw. The quick chuck is now ready to handle 3 quarter and 1 ton hubless drums and rotors. Install the quick chuck to the drum or rotor using the method shown earlier. Place the large backing plate onto the arbor. Install the quick chuck and drum or rotor assembly with the appropriate spacers. Complete the setup by installing the arbor nut. The machining process is identical to that shown earlier.